Hello everyone, today I have filmed my autumn makeup routine kind of thing so if you'd like to see this look, carry on watching. So the first thing I used was my Rimmel Lasting Finish foundation. I'm actually really enjoying this foundation at the moment. It's the right match and it's got a really nice consistency. I just really like it quite a bit and just cover my face in it really. Hide the redness. That's all. I then use the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer, which is my favourite concealer ever. Just cover up any blemishes, a bit more redness, the bags under my eyes. I don't even need to explain how good this concealer is because everyone's used it at some point or other. It's just the best. Blendy blend, blend, blend. I then like to mattify everything by using the Rimmel Stay Matte Finishing Powder. Again, love this so much. It's, for me, one of the best powders ever. Oh god, I'm dancing. Oh dear. What am I doing? I had some music on and I obviously just felt like having a bit of a sing-along to it. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh no. I'm going to contour now. I'm using the Honolulu Bronzer by W7. This is supposedly a dupe for the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I've never tried that. This is quite pigmented and it was really cheap off Amazon. Oh, I'm singing again. And I just really quite like it. I really like the blush. The brush. Oh dear. That comes with it. And then I just blend in the harsh lines of the foundation brush that I used. Because I like a subtle contour rather than your face one. Then we're doing highlight. This is the Revlon Highlighting Palette in Rose Glow. Um, just highlighting the cheeks. This has also got a pink tone to it, so you don't need to wear blush as well. You can just wear this. You don't even need a contour with this. It's just got everything. I really like it. Oh dear, not again. Kira, stop it. Why are you putting yourself through this? I kind of can't leave the house without a bit of eyeliner, so I'm doing a winged eyeliner look here. Um, I tend to do this nearly every day. Uh, this is the L'Oreal Super Liner in Perfect Slim in like intense black I think it's called. Um, I just really like this eyeliner, I need to stop dancing, stop it, just stop, there we go. Um, I just think it's really good, it lasts forever, I just like it. Then I'm doing my eyebrows with the Soap & Glory Archery Brow Tint Shaping Pencil thing. Now I know nothing about doing my eyebrows, I've only recently started doing them because I feel like it makes me look so much more be so much better, I feel like it makes me my face look more framed and all of that kind of stuff so I don't really know what I'm doing so if any of you guys have any tips please, please leave them down below because I would really appreciate that as I have no idea what I'm doing, I'm just doing what other people do. I am using one of my most favourite mascaras which is the Makeup Gallery Plump Up the Volume Mascara. This is actually from Poundland and I just really really like it. It really separates out the lashes and lengthens them. It's just lovely and I love it and yeah you could also curl your eyelashes but ten times out of, nine times out of ten I forget so The last thing this look needs is a beautiful lip colour. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I think it's in the shade Copenhagen, I can't remember. I'll leave it down below if you're interested. I love this, it's just such a nice autumn full colour, like the berry red. It's one of my favourite lip products to wear at the moment. It's so soft, so creamy, just really nice and I really recommend it. And 
and there you go that's the finished look I think it looks quite cool I tend to I've been wearing this look quite a lot at the moment so yeah it's kind of like an everyday makeup tutorial really isn't it but that is the end of the video if you enjoyed it please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up as that would be absolutely lovely Thanks for watching. Bye.